Hello, welcome to the video. Um, so after painting the, the subframe, which is now covered by the, temporarily covered by the uh, front dash panel, uh, well I need to work on the dash panel because um, it's damaged basically. When I bought it, it was it was cracked. There was a bit missing out of the, the bottom of it. So the next job is gonna be that. So I didn't really wanna film me cutting the front dash panel and, and taking off uh, the bottom part of it in case I messed it up, but it seems I didn't. So as I've said, I fixed it on uh, temporarily, uh, just using the, the screws here that are usually hold it on at the top here around the, the bonnet lock. But now the next problem will be fixing it down here. Um, you can see that there's quite a gap between the bracket and the panel. You've got, this is um, sort of the original fixing for the bottom panel and uh, this was attached, um, or rather the panel was attached to it with a cable tie when I first bought the, the van, uh, which wasn't ideal. Added to which the hole that it was attached to on the, the panel was split and broken so it, this was moving about quite a bit you can see there's quite a clearance there so i'm gonna to have to think of something to extend the the bracket i bought these um two brackets to to basically hold the panel on uh, there's the other one that side and you can see there's there's quite a clearance between the two luckily i got the, the panel quite straight that's the bit that was already broken so what i was thinking is either i'm thinking aloud here Either I um, extend the the bracket, or I add some more plastic to the the front here, a flat piece, to hide the the broken bit, and use that to fix too. So you know, I've got to I've got to go away and think about it a little bit um, because I don't want the the front end to suddenly flop about everywhere. Mainly because um, if you look at some of my earlier videos. One of the problems that I had, it was a ridiculous problem, but you've got, that fixes down here, like that, but it can, even if it's fixed with these three holes, it can still flop backwards. And of course, when you turn around the corner, the front wheel rubs into the panel. Really I need to move the brackets quite far forward and just see them through the gap there and then uh, you know that will avoid having uh, the tyres chafing on the on the front panel. So repairs will be the bit I just mentioned putting something I don't know what yet putting a, a flat piece of plastic so that'll be the the first thing and the next thing will be this needs repairing as well um, and that's the main bolt that holds the side on normally this is glued a lot of sun permi vehicles they use sort of a rubber based solution glue uh, and it's, it's basically glued on so these holes weren't there before so i did these holes so that i could take the panel on and off because with it being glued it was a pain you know you, you had to literally pull it apart and of course you couldn't put it back again without removing all of this glue and re-gluing it. So that was an idea behind that but this bolt here and the one the other side do most of the fixing. So they're, they're, they're quite strong um, so the panel's not going to fall off. Um, but I also need to think about how I'm going to fix these because as you can see, if I can try to focus in here it's starting to split because obviously you've got a metal bolt uh, on plastic even if i pull plastic washer in there um it's split the plastic so maybe i should have put a rubber washer or something i'm not sure but so yeah, there's lots of things to think about with this front panel i don't want to buy a new one um i think the new ones are under 100 euros but i want to avoid that so it's, it's a case of fixing the whole the other side, fixing the bottom and then respraying the whole lot in black. So it's looking almost normal even though it's not actually fixed properly. Um, so I'm going to call it a day for today. It's Sunday and I've got lessons tomorrow and that's going to take all of Monday and some of Tuesday because I need to uh, plan the lessons, clean the room, make it Covid friendly and then uh, do the homework. So hopefully Tuesday it won't be raining 
because it's been raining all weekend and I'll be able to crack on with the the panel and uh, see where we go. Basically I've taken the the bits off the bottom of the uh, the bumper and I'm going to use those to create some plastic slurry. So to do that I've got um, a bottle of acetone which I bought online and I'm going to be wearing gloves and a mask because um, this stuff might give off fumes so that's a piece of plastic from the uh, from the bumper um, I'm going to cut a small piece off uh, well, first of all clean it because it's a bit covered in oil and dirt and stuff and then use that to to do an experiment and, and see if I can make some, some plastic slurry. So this is quite thick and um, I'm going to see if I can break a piece off by using my table. There we go. So I've got a tiny piece here because I don't want to waste this plastic because it's um, cutting my head off there. Um, because it's about the same colour as my bumper, obviously, because it's from the bumper, but it's also the same colour as the floor in the cab. And uh, I need to, to repair a crack in the floor, so useful gloves. So I'm going to give up on the gloves because they're useless. So I'm going to try to have a smaller piece. There we are. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. We've got a tiny piece there of grey plastic from the, the bumper. So I'll stick that down there for now. And I've got a little pot from uh, a chocolate dessert. So I'm going to just stick that in there, put my mask on anyway, so on goes the mask. I also need to unwrap the, the bottle as well. So that's that done, unwrapped. We're just going to pour a tiny bit in. So for the minute, it's not going to do an awful lot. So what I'm going to do is, um, you see I've put in a tiny bit of acetone, the plastic in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that overnight now and uh, see if we, we get something from it. You can always smell it from here with the mask on. So. I think we'll leave that. So it's the following day and we're going to take a look and see what's happened to the plastic. Very strange this morning, I woke up and the birds were going bonkers in the tree just in front of our house. It must be nesting season. So let's go see what we've got. So it's looking like um, probably leaving it overnight is not such a good idea because there it's it's mixed with the acetone and it's gone rock hard. So back to the drawing board with that one. I think I'm gonna have to put it in and use it straight away. It's weird because I thought that you know I read online that um, basically you put the acetone with the plastic and left it overnight and then drained off the acetone and used the plastic that was left. But here it's obviously not done that. Uh, it's mixed together so I'm going to have to look online and see what I've done wrong and whether it's the wrong sort of plastic um, to, to do this with so watch this space so I've been to look online uh, to see what I need to do the measures and things for the plastic and the acetone and it seems that um, it probably didn't work because there wasn't enough acetone and there probably wasn't enough plastic either so in short to make the glue uh, you're looking at about uh, 50 millilitres of acetone and about 8 grams of plastic, plastic or ABS, whatever you want to call it. 
uh, to make up a glue and I think to make up a slurry uh, it's about 20 grams so I'm going to try making a glue because 20 grams of plastic is quite a lot it's very light plastic as I'll show you now so I've got a set of scales I nicked from the kitchen I'll have to give them a clean afterwards um, but uh, yeah if I take my failed attempt I don't think there's even a gram of plastic in there um, as I'll show you like if I so I'll try that again that's on zero good so if I take this piece of plastic which is about twice as much as I put in in there um, and I weigh it still at zero oh no it's two two grams so that's two grams so I need four of those to to make up the glue if I take what's well, on the floor oh. if I put that on there which is so that's 30 grams so that's what was that two grams so looking at that bit there probably if I can point the camera at it that bit there so all that bit there needs to be cut up put into there and for the acetone uh, I've made a little mark on on this glass jar that's 15 millilitres which just so happens to coincide with the bottom of the label um, so I use those little measuring cups for um, medicine so I cut up some bits of the plastic using the method that I showed you earlier uh, putting the uh, plastic in the in my workbench and basically dropping it and folding it backwards and forwards to get small bits so what's the verdict seven grams it's supposed to be eight but I think I think I'm gonna just go with that seven grams and put a little less acetone in so with the same as um, yesterday um, where I'll just leave it overnight and see what happens hopefully this time uh, we won't have uh, a problem with it all drying out so I'm just gonna stick the plastic into the recipient yep. get rid of that okay so mask So my marker is there, I'll put a little less in, and that's practically full, so I'll just give that a little agitation and I think we'll leave it like that overnight so we'll come back tomorrow and see what's uh, happening so I'm still wearing the mask because this stuff stinks but um, on Friday uh, which was the last bit you've just seen I set uh, the plastic in motion to to melt uh, with the acetate sorry acetone um, and since then I've not really had much chance to do anything because um, so Saturday was quite busy and Sunday I wasn't here so um, in short what I've done is um, well I set it going Friday at four o'clock in, in the afternoon uh, checked it um, on Sunday morning and it had gone a little bit um, not hard but um, I could see that if I, if I left it, it would go hard so I added about 10 millilitres of uh, acetone and uh, I just come and checked it now and now it's about uh, whew, two o'clock on uh, Monday and uh, I've added a bit more acetone because it had got a skin on top and that's what it gives if we can see that uh, without me pouring the assy tone everywhere, let me turn it round. So, 
you see you've got the acetone here and then you've got the the putty so it's, it's fairly manual really but it's been a bit of trial and error because i've had to sort of i'll come down here that'll be better wouldn't it um it'll be sort of um either too liquid or rock hard so i think we'll stick with that that's fine so i'm going to just pour the excess acetone away and then in part two you'll see me do the repairs so i've got to repair the the front dash panel because there's a crack in it and there's also a crack on the floor in the cab so there's two things i need to do in part two i'll see you in part two take care of yourselves bye Quand je reviens dans mon Edison, au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne.